So, uh, the talk uh, I was asked to, to deliver today is, is, uh, is about uh, what we consider uh, in smoking cessation and, uh, and tobacco control uh, a real revolution, at least uh, I consider it, consider it like this. Uh, we've never seen that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes, it works. Um, and this is really uh, the big difference with, with what we experienced before in smoking cessation. We never had the support of, of smokers. This time, smokers talked to each other. They never did that before. They never enjoyed stopping smoking and, 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 and talk together. It's the case with cigarettes, e-cigarettes. It's amazing. It's amazing because they stop smoking or they reduce smoking with pleasure. And that's the key, I think. And this, you've seen that this morning already, but this, this is a curve that you can apply to different things. Here are just the connections to the, the French uh, um, for all uh, of, of ECB users. But it's been the same in terms of sales, in terms of, of, of many things. Um, and something that is really impressive. And how can the authorities uh, are so blind uh, to, to, to this? I mean, since last year, we've seen something in, in France, but I will show for you yeah, that Italy had the same. And, uh, I guess it's the same in England. Yeah. We have seen decrease in tobacco sales that we've never witnessed in the past. Uh, last year, 2013, uh, in red here, we had about 8% uh, decrease, 8 to 9% decrease in tobacco sales. And since January, it's maintained. And every month, since uh, the beginning of, of this year, we, ha we, we have about minus eight, minus seven percent of, of tobacco sales, of cigarette sales. But also, on roll your own, we used to, to see people switch to roll your own, for example, but that's not what the, the data are showing. And as it was mentioned before, the, the smoking cessation uh, treatment uh, market is also uh, decreasing. And for example, the, the, the most affected uh, segment of it is the patch. Same kind of uh, decrease in Italy in terms of, of tobacco sales. And we have now some data from France, from UK, on, the, on what's going on with e-cigarettes. And this <coughs> I'll show you because you're, you're probably more familiar to the, the UK data. But in France, there was a, a survey uh, that was realized uh, last of November um, on, on, on French population, a sample of, of 2,000 people from 15 to 75 years. And <coughs> again, a, a, a little bit like uh, what, what is uh, also uh, seen in UK, or in England at least is that um, the experimentation of e-cigarettes uh, has been taken, uh, has uh, happened in 18% uh, of the population. These are not only smokers, it, it's the global, uh, it's a representative sample of the population. And of these, uh, I mean, of the population, we have about three, uh, uh, with more than 3% of people using e-cigarettes every day, daily. Uh, with, like in, uh, in England, in, in other surveys, about two-thirds of people being dual users and one-third being exclusive users. But it's probably due to the fact that it is an early, uh, uh, an early uh, behavior. And, and the, the people who were actually uh, uh, question in this uh, survey uh, had, on average, started e-cigs only six months ago. 
So I'm sure and confident that uh, in, in the future we will see more exclusive users. <coughs> this you're, you're probably more familiar with is it shows that uh, in England uh, we <coughs> there is about the same percentage of, of uh, ESIG users, but uh, there have been some sort of uh, plateauing uh, in the UK. Um, I, I'll be curious to see the, the, the follow-up data from France, but uh, because I, I don't have uh, that, impre that impression, but uh, we need confirmation. Uh, but it, it might be a, a, a bit different. And what's uh, impressive again, and that, that has been uh, already mentioned too, is that uh, E6, or actually the main uh, the main aid used by, by smokers currently. I mean, it, it, it has <coughs> been comp competing a lot with uh, with an RTs, and uh, and it's, it's clearly showing that smokers find e-cigarettes appealing. For the first time, they found something that helped them quit, and 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 keep the pleasure. And that, I think that's really the key uh, of this success. <coughs> Again, uh, as, as Peter has uh, already shown, all the, those people from the tobacco control community are you know, arguing different uh, hypotheses. Uh, and, and one obviously is that uh, we will increase the use of nicotine uh, in the population. There will be new uh, consumers. There will be uh, non-smokers that will get into uh, nicotine addiction and will maybe switch to, to cigarettes. There is no such evidence so far. <clears throat> it's true uh, in the UK, but it's true uh, also, uh, I mean, this is in Endeavor smokers, uh, and, and the same, another argument is, well, kids will uh, get to, 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 to start smoking because they will enter the nicotine uh, consumption through e-cigarettes. There's no such things that uh, is happening either in England or in France. This is a small study from just uh, Paris uh, school children. But it clearly shows the same, the same as the UK survey, the same as the CDC survey. It just shows that over the last four years, yes, there was a little bit increase of e-cigarette use, but there are a huge decrease of tobacco smoking. And that's what is important. And the number of non-smokers has increased. So it's clearly not showing any getaway in to smoking. Unfortunately, uh, and uh, I'm really uh, pissed off, sorry, uh, that in France we get prevalent data about every five years if we are lucky. Uh, but when they do the study, Usually, it takes them two, three years to publish it. So we have, you know, when we're talking about prevalence in France, we are in 2014. I think the last, uh, the last survey we have was is from 2010. So unfortunately, unfortunately, I can I showed you the the, the tobacco. Uh, sales uh, decrease, but I can't show you the, the decrease in prevalence, but I'm, I'm sure we should, we probably would see the same as, uh, as in England. In Italy, uh, the scenario is a bit different. Uh, probably, uh, and certainly, you know, I think uh, Ricardo can, uh, can confirm that, uh, the fact that uh, there have been a lot of discussion in Italy about e-cigarettes, the fact that they first introduced a, a ban that was uh, suppressed afterwards, but then reintroduced introduced a, a, a tax, an excise tax on, on e-cigarettes, had a very bad uh, effect on, on the early uh, 
sign of prevalence in, in this year, in 2014. Well, and you can see that there was a, a decrease, particularly in women, between uh, 2011 and, and 13, and then uh, suddenly uh, there is a, a surge here. And I, I guess that uh, if we had a look at uh, Spanish Spanish data, we would see probably uh, the same thing. So I am uh, I'm very pleased to be in a country in France, which I think like UK uh, or at least England is taking e-cigarettes seriously and into consideration. Uh, we, we are really lucky. And, uh, and I, I'm also very confident, like Peter said uh, in his talk, I'm really confident that we still have time to reverse the vapor. Uh, we, I mean, we will collect uh, data we will show that uh, e-cigarettes will have a, a positive effect in, in, on public health. <clears throat> All those questions, you know, how, how harmful are they? What about second-hand vapor, etc.? We, we all know now we have sufficient data, but we need more, clearly. But we already have sufficient data to answer these questions and to try to take the, the time we have until the implementation of the TPD uh, to really uh, reinforce the, 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 the conviction we have with data showing that clearly in the population we see in about three to four years we will see both decreasing tobacco sales, decreasing prevalence and maybe we will start to see a decrease on certain disease. I mean, after uh, the smoke-free loads, we, we, we've seen some effect on, on uh, uh, cardiovascular diseases, for example. And it could well be something that we will see uh, in, a, in a year or two uh, with uh, the e-cigarettes. This is uh, a very nice uh, uh, list of statements that have been made uh, by, by Peter, Robert, and Deborah, and, and Jimmy Brown. Uh, and, and this is really, uh, to me, it's, it's a, a real uh, snapshot of what we know and what we can say on e-cigarettes. It has to be uh, updated as uh, we will uh, learn more, but really these uh, statements should help uh, the, the authorities to take the right decisions about uh, e-cigarettes. And uh, in the conclusion, I will uh, just uh, highlight uh, also the conclusion of Ash on the, the, the brief, the, the last uh, briefing on e-cigarettes which uh, I had the privilege to translate into French. So you can find uh, both uh, version on the on Ash uh, website. So, and, and, and again, I mean, um, it's, it's, it's going exactly in the, in the same direction. And I'm really, really confident that uh, we will win the battle because the, 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 the evidence will, uh, will get uh, in our camp. And I, I thank you for this attention.